welcome to Kids Academy. Hello boys and girls, it's teacher Mike here. And today we're going to be looking at a worksheet called Part, Part, Whole. In this worksheet, we're going to get two numbers. We're going to get a number that represents the whole and one of the parts. It's going to be our job to figure out what's that other part. Now I'm going to show you a strategy how to do it. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say, for example, we had the number 7 as our whole number, and we had the other part of 3. It's our job to figure out what goes in that other part. Well, we have two choices. We could add or subtract to figure out what goes in the blank box. Well, if we added these two numbers together, 7 plus 3, we're going to get 10. And 10 is bigger than 7. But we said 7 is the whole, so the answer can't be 10. So adding isn't correct. We must have to subtract. So if we take our whole and we take away one of the parts, we'll be left with the other part. Here, let's take a look. If we subtract 7 minus 3, again, we're taking away that first part, so we'll only be left with that other part, we would get the answer of 4. 7 minus 3 equals 4. That must mean the other part is really 4. To check our work, we can add the two parts together and see if it equals the whole. Let's check it out. If we added 3 plus 4, we do in fact get 7. So this is a good strategy. Let's read the directions for our worksheet and get started right away. Part, part, whole. What numbers are missing from each puzzle? Trace on the dotted line from each correct number. We have the example right here of 5, 5, and 10. And that's true because 5 plus 5 is 10. So let's take a look at our first example. We have 6 and 2, and 6 is our whole number. Okay, so I remember we said we were going to use subtraction to figure out what the missing part is. So let's subtract 6 minus 2. And when we subtract 6 minus 2, we get 4. And I see four is our first answer choice. But to confirm this is our answer, or to check this is our answer, let's add four plus two. And when I add four plus two, I do in fact get six. So let's go ahead and trace our way to the four. Now let's look at the other part of that question, or the other side. We have an eight and a three, and the eight is the whole number. So if we have an eight and a three, what's the other part? Well, again, let's use subtraction. 8 minus 3 equals 5. So I think that the other part is 5. Well, let's add our two parts together and see if it equals the whole, just to be sure. 5 plus 3 does in fact equal 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. 5 plus 3 equals 8. So we can trace on the dotted line to the 5. Let's look at our next two examples. We have a 12 as our whole number and a six is one of the parts. Remember, we can use subtraction. So let's subtract six from 12. And six and 12 minus six is six. And again, to check our work, we can add six plus six, and that is in fact 12. So we can go ahead and trace on the dotted line to six. Let's check out the next example. We have 10 as our whole number and eight as one of the parts. We will use subtraction to figure out what the missing part is. So let's subtract 8 from 10. When you take away 8 from 10, you're left with 2. We'll check our work by adding 2 plus 8. And of course, that gives us 10. So we can go ahead and trace on the dotted line from 10 to 2. Let's look at the next examples. We have 14 as our whole number and eight as one of the parts. Let's use subtraction to find the missing part. 14 minus eight is a little bit more tricky of a subtraction problem. So let's count backwards. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight. So I think the missing number is six. Let's add that part of six plus the other part of eight, and that does give us 14. So we know the missing part is a six. Let's trace on the dotted line to six. 
Our other example has 11 as a whole number and 7 as the first part. So let's subtract 7 from 11. 11 minus 7. That equals 4. We'll check our work with addition, adding our two parts together, the missing part of 4 plus 7, and that it does, and that does equal 11. Let's trace on the dotted line to 4, because that is our missing part. Let's check out our last two examples. We have 16 as our whole number and 5 as our first part. To figure out what the missing part is, we'll subtract the whole number of 16 minus the first part of 5. Again, this is a tricky subtraction problem, so let's count backwards. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Wow. We counted all the way up to 11. So I think 11 is our missing number. Now let's add 11 plus 5. And that, in fact, does equal 16. So we know that our missing number is 11. Our last number. We have 18 as our whole number and 9 as one of our parts. We'll use subtraction one final time to figure out what the missing part is. So we're taking our whole number. And we're taking the one part that we know away from it. We're subtracting what we know. So we'll be left with the missing part. And 18 minus 9 is a doubles fact. That equals 9. And when we add 9 plus 9, I know that that does equal 18. So our missing number is 9. Remember, boys and girls, when you have a part, part, whole problem, if you have the whole number and one of the parts, you can use subtraction to figure out the correct answer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.